Hey, what's going on, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here once again, and today I am taking a look at some more Coco toys. We're looking at the Skelectables collection, which I am super excited for because this is a series of stylized minifigures, and they also come in blind bags, so combine those two, and I am sold, especially for Pixar merch. So check it out. They come in these blind bags here, as you can see. They also come in some three packs behind there, which which I'll get to in a minute. But yeah, the, the blind bags here, they can be found at Toys R Us, also at the Disney Store. And each one actually does have a code. See, this one is K, so each character has a corresponding letter. And I will post all of those codes on my full blog post um, at danthepixarfan.com. I'll link to that soon. So yeah, so these are the blind bags, and then these are the three packs. So. Essentially, what you want to do is, if you're trying to get them all, you start with the three packs. I, I'm going to call them starter packs. And then you fill in the gaps with the blind bags because each three pack actually has an exclusive with it. So you want to start with the three packs and then move on to the blind bags. The blind bags have 12 characters. And then with the three exclusives, there are 15. So there are 15 total Skelectables here. So let's go ahead and tear into this package. Let's open these things up and see what we got. I'm super pumped for these. And what's kind of cool is that th these in the three pack, they come all assembled. But when you actually open the blind bags, as you'll see, they come disassembled. So here's Dante as an Alahibre. I am so bad at Spanish, so I'm sorry if I totally butcher these words. This is Hector. One of the main characters of the film. I'm so excited to see where his character goes. They are uh, posable there. And the legs and the arms and the, and the head can rotate as well. And this is the exclusive to this three pack. So this is Miguel with his hood up and skeleton face. But this Miguel is special because his face actually glows in the dark. So that's what makes that one an exclusive. So let's move on to the next three pack. So this exclusive or the exclusive that comes with this set is Ernesto de la Cruz and he is a black and white living um, character so there's a uh, Ernesto that's a skeleton this one is him living oh whoa okay so there you go ah his body his legs his head ah it's all dis disassembled this is crazy okay let's get him back together here so that's how they come in the blind bags so you can see that they do fall apart um, so this is kind of based on Ernesto's appearance on the TV screen when Miguel is watching some old black and white videos of Ernesto performing. So that's the exclusive there. And here's the regular Dante. So Dante and Miguel, they can be found in the regular blind bags. You see kind of how this works? All right, so here is Miguel, standard Miguel without the skeleton face and without the hood up. And there's that little bit of posability there. What's kind of cool is since you can take them apart, you can kind of swap um, heads, you can swap bodies and kind of mix and match pieces. So that's kind of cool. So the exclusive in this is another Ernesto, but this time around it's the skeleton Ernesto. And rather than his blue or gray suit, this is his orange mariachi suit. I've never seen any stills of him wearing this outfit yet from the film, but I'm sure he must wear it somewhere in the movie. So that's really cool. And then the non-exclusives, the ones that can also be found in the blind bags, we have um, 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 Imelda, I believe. I believe that is Mama Imelda, yeah. And then Pepita. And her wings come off here, so those just need to snap in the back like so. Pepita is one of my favorites. I'm excited to see what her character is in the film, kind of what impact she has on the story, because I know it's significant, so that'll be interesting to see. I guess we will move on to the blind bags now, so now we'll kind of fill in those gaps. We'll get the characters that we didn't get in those three packs, so... Let's go ahead and take these out. Okay, so this is a character I know very little about. Her name is MC. It's E-M-C-E-E, -E -E, so however you say that, I'm assuming MC. And I'm not 
I'm not sure what her role is in the film, but um, I'm excited to see what her character does. She's very interesting looking, so that's a cool one for sure. All right, so there's a little 360 view, and let's move on to the next character here. Who do we got? And the character is... Oh, okay, so this is another one of character, one of the characters I don't know too much about. I think his name is, uh, I believe it's Ch Chikaron. Chikaron? I, I'm so sorry, I cannot pronounce that. But something like that, Ch Chikaron. Um, and I believe he, he's, I think he's one of Miguel's relatives in the film, in the Land of the Dead. So we shall see. But it's a really cool looking figure. I was actually excited for that one. It's really unique. The cool thing about these blind bags, or blind bags usually in general, is that you get a lot of the cool, unique characters that you wouldn't normally get. So that's really cool. So, okay, so this is the Ernesto de la Cruz in his gray mariachi outfit um, as a skeleton. So this is Ernesto as he appears in the land of the dead. All right, so his head just kind of pops on. Some of these are harder to get on than others. There we go. I don't want to break anything, so I was kind of being careful there. But, yep, there's Ernesto. Really cool figure. And this is Miguel's, I believe, great, great grandfather. And this is Ernesto again. Only this time it's another living figure. Only this one's in color. So this is when he performs... Remember Me, the um, the main theme of the film. He performs that song. That's his hit song in the film. And I've seen the trailers where he's performing that and he's wearing that outfit. So you can count on that. And let's see who the next figure is. Right on. Okay, so this is Miguel in his hood and his skeleton face, only this one's just the standard figure. This is the non-exclusive, non-glow-in-the-dark Miguel figure with the skeleton face. So that is really cool. I love really any of the merch that has Miguel with the skeleton face. I love the design. Really cool look. So I, I think we might be uh, wrapping things up here. I believe this is the last one. Yes, this is Abulita. And this is Miguel's grandmother in the film. I know it gets confusing between his grandmother, his great-grandmother, his great-great-grandmother. But yes, this is his grandmother in the land of the living. And from what I've seen in the different clips and trailers, she is a feisty one. So I'm excited to see her character. And this was a really cool and unique choice to include her in the blind bags. I really hope we get a series two because there are too many awesome characters in this film. Um, and, and I just want them all in these blind bags. That would be awesome. So... I want to show you this as well. This is part of this collectibles collection, and it's a playset. It's Ernesto de la Cruz's uh, house, mansion, I guess you could say, in the Land of the Dead. And what's really cool is that it comes with an exclusive kind of translucent orange gold Miguel figure. And here's a look at the back of the package. I'm not going to review this whole thing right now. I'm going to save that for a different video, but I did want to just let you know that it's out there. A lot of cool features. And just to wrap things up, I wanted to just look at all the figures together. Look at this awesome collection. So colorful and so fun. Mattel did a great job on stylizing these characters. And like I said, I really hope that we get a series two because I would love to see more of these. So definitely take a look at DanThePixarFan.com for more info. And I will see you real soon. Take care, everybody.